Just in case they ain't get the picture the first time around. I see you hate Got another box shipping coming in to get some work done. It's a 1987 LS Rohan. He brought it up to me to get the, uh, the roof done. He got a G6 panoramic. He wanted me to put it in. Then he started talking about he might want to get it painted. We ain't decided on that yet, but I know I'm doing the roof. We got the uh, headliner board in here. He already done tucked the seats out. He got one seat in, so less work I gotta do. Gonna tuck the headline out. It's 26 inch roaches. Let me show you the roof. He said he took it out of the car. It was leaking or something, then they sealed it up. I guess they didn't think it was working. He said he hooked it up and it worked fine. So I'm going to have to just clean this silicone off of it. But other than that, I think we're going to be good. But yeah, this should be a quick job. Shouldn't take too long. Once we get it off the trailer, I'll cut y'all back on. I'm finally finna do the walk around. It's been, I think, two weeks since the car was dropped off. But I'm finally getting to it. I'm gonna do the walk around. We're gonna pull it around back. And I'll tell you what I got to do to it. Would have made it by man since I first had y'all. Y'all hear how I crank? Straight up. Seemed like a good running motor in it. But we finna hit this corner here like we usually do yeah ain't got no seat belts in here hopefully I don't see no police I can't afford no ticket yeah I like this here I mean be careful going up this little Huh? Don't wanna scratch no wheels up. I guess we'll check the inside out since we're already in here. You see he done tucked the door panels off. So that's less work I gotta do. Headliner down. Back seat. Really ain't got nothing in here but the driver's seat. Let's step on out. Might as well pop the hood, show you the motor. It's old school. 
26 inch roaches. Look like it been scrubbing now. Need to go with some Lake Sunnies. They're a lot smaller than these here. So these 275, 25. Some Lake Sunnies a lot smaller than those. Got that up. Just a regular motor. No LS swap. Got the Ruchi grill. Alabama tag. This car came from Mobile. Well, that's who we got it from. Got down to Mobile. See, he done replaced the, the opera lights before. Those not original. But I done decided to go ahead and paint it. He brought it up here just for me to do the roof, so. But then we got to talking. You know, like always, most of the time they bring it up here for me to do the roof or the headliner. I wind up painting it. And we got new fenders, new hood. I'm gonna take you in the shop and show you those. Because this been like two weeks since I got the car. I just finally did this video, the walk around, because I'm so bagged up. But I got everything that he done ordered so far. He still got to order some more things, and we should be good to go. But we got a new hood and two new fenders and some more stuff I can't recall. But we're going to go back down and open everything up. But he going back with pretty much the same color. So... I gotta find a color that match somewhat. Y'all get down in the comment section, let me know. Y'all know a color that'll, you know, be somewhat that color. It ain't gotta be exact, but, you know, somewhat. No candy, just base coat, clear coat. A little metallic in it. All right, we're gonna take it on in and I'll show you what he got. All right, let's check out everything we got for the box shipper here. Got a brand new hood. Two new thunders. We're going to open them up. The box is up. But we're going to run through it right quick before we do that. Here's the other thunder. I could have repaired. Did the body work on his thunders and the hood. But he said don't worry about it. He's going to buy brand new everything. And I like customers like that. Trying to make my job a lot easier. Less work I got to do. We got a G6 here, panoramic. It's not in real good shape for us, the, the top part, because the owner who he got it from, they thought it was leaking, and they sealed it up with silicone. The glass, I'm gonna turn it over and show it to you. But he said the only problem was the drain line was, the drain lines was uh, loose. That's why they thought it was leaking. But I'm gonna have to remove this shade because it looked like it's bound up so I hate for it to jam when I hook it up and show y'all the operation of it we got the roof scan also the headliner board which I'm not gonna use the whole board I'm just gonna use maybe just this section here like I did the other headline I did for the other the black box here got the controls and the ring and a lot of this stuff, I forgot what he ordered, but we're going we gonna to open everything up. So y'all wait one second. All right, let's grab a raise so we can open up these goodies. Guess we'll start with this smaller block. Box. I said block. <laughs> See what this is. Oh, this the side markers for the back. See if I can open up one for you so we can check it out. It's a must. If you're getting your car painted, this a must. You get these, they ain't that expensive. So don't be cheap with that. Uh, let's put that to the side. Grab this other box here.
this is, yeah. Oh, it's power antenna. I remember we was talking about his. Got that. Oh, let me show you the name of it, in case y'all want to purchase one. Hope y'all got that. And let's grab this one. This one here I already opened. These window sweeps here. The outer window sweeps are four door. Yeah, I could open up one. This a must too. You gotta replace them when you paint a box city. Let's put this over here. See what else we got. These are the, the door weather stripping. I think these for the back. Cause you gotta send me the front. Either or. Yeah, I think these, yeah, these for the back door. They need to still order the front. We'll put that over there. Grab this box here, see what it is. Boxes is in a box. I already know what these is. This is the front side mark. Can't recall what this could be. Oh. These are replacement mirrors. I forgot all about these. Yeah, he said he gonna order new everything. Definitely did. So we already know what the other one is. But these are the side markers. I know how these boxes look. But we're gonna open up one. So I just show you. What we got left. And this, I have no idea what this is. Fender trim. Fender trim. I'm not gonna bother by taking these fenders out. Because we all know what a fender look like on the box Chevy. Today gonna be the start of the G6 panoramic sunroof install on the box Chevy. If y'all can recall, go back to the first video when the owner dropped it off. He had told me the car that they got this out of, the owner thought it was leaking. So they put silicone around it, sealed everything up. Come to find out, it was one of the drain tubes. It was unloose. So we gonna clean all this up. And I asked everybody to drop a comment in the first video or to be the easiest way what would be the easiest way to get all this silicone up without damaging the rubber but some of the rubber damaged anyway right here and most of the comments it was like get a racer wheel so that's what we got we got four i don't think it's gonna take all four on but we got two different sizes it's a thin one and a thick one I also got some steel wool, zero, 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 defined. It won't damage the glass. But we're gonna put one of these eraser wheels on my drill. No, first we're gonna take a razor blade. I got a razor blade as well. We're gonna take a razor blade and uh, get the biggest of this silicone up. Majority of it up like this, 
then we're gonna clean it up with the racer wheel. Here's the results after the cleaning. I got all the glass clean, but the weather stripping, some of it can be saved. Because when they was trying to clean it off before I got it, they punctured a lot of it. But he can always get a replacement seal. But I got all that off the glass. start wiring up everything I'm gonna keep a dome light I'm just gonna use the one that came off the G6 roof it's actually right here somewhere I'm gonna wire it into the original light so I'm gonna have to run this wire back I'm gonna have to add some more to it and I'm gonna have the switch right here like in the original G6 car, switch gonna be here. Let me take you back here and show you what I'm doing. I'm trying to eliminate some of these wires that I'm not gonna use. Let me plug it up, I gotta run into my battery. See, I'm gonna keep these lights here. You cut on and off. I'm gonna run that to the actual roof, the power. This is gonna run to the doors, to the original dome light. So I got all the wires I need, so I'm going to cut out the ones that I'm not going to use. Then I'm going to have to shorten, maybe extend some. I can't get that on there right now, but I'm going to put it up in the roof of the car. So I know what I need to cut off and what I need to extend. Finish wiring up everything, putting the glass in, running the drain lines. Now let me show you the operation part of it. This is what it looked like after the glass installed. Still able to put my LS quarter top on. I had to tuck it outside and ran some water over it. That's why you see water in the drain lines. Let me take you around to the other side here. Turn it on. Well, flip it back. Oh, let me show you the uh, interior light. That's the interior light there. Like I said, it's gonna be hanging up under the headliner. Let me shut the door, show you. All right. And you can also cut it on from here. Or you can see the light come on down there on the floorboard. And then we got 
these lights here on the switch, they not gonna work because they wired up to the accessory with ignition. But when I flip the ignition, come on. Let me crank it up because I don't wanna try to open it on a dead battery. We're gonna open it all the way before. Put it on three. This two. And this one. It just got a vent on one. Then you put it on zero, it'll close it up. Yeah, y'all stay tuned. Hold on, let me cut it off. What I was saying, y'all stay tuned. Because the next video, I'll probably paint this top. Because I got to review a spray gun and I'll be reviewing it and I'm going to paint the top and I'm going to paint it in an inflatable spray booth. I know a lot of guys been asking me, have I used it yet? I'm going to use it on this here. So y'all stay tuned for that video. Close it on up for the last time. Oh, ignition. be a video of me reviewing the Vivo inflatable paint booth also the spray gun the Vivo spray gun and what I'm gonna be doing to review it I'm gonna paint this top here so I got a cutoff line because it's quarter top go here so it's gonna be a cutoff line you're not gonna be able to see I'm gonna paint this at one time then I'm gonna paint the rest of the car later on down the line but I was thinking about well, I got this door locked. I was thinking about painting the jams when I paint this top. I think that's going to be the plan. And I'm going to have to remove the doors. So we're going to be doing that, removing the doors. And scuffing everything up, getting ready for paint. So y'all stay tuned. Let me get everything set up. And we'll get started. It's the following morning. I did all this last night. When I did the masking, I just gotta put some plastic over the entire car. Then I cut out everything. I got this back mask here around the jams. Now I sit up, go outside and set up the booth. Then we'll pull the car in. Hopefully we can get it started before it get too hot. blowed up if y'all want to see the unboxing of this video check the description i have it down so y'all could look at that video i go in more detail pause the c 
setting it up what all it come with let me check on the inside here's the fans here bro what's up y'all i had some help this time putting it up it was a lot easier than last time but we're gonna come in and out this door here and i bring the car in from right here this side i was thinking about putting that I got like a shop fan. I was thinking about putting it right here to pull some of the uh, overspray out. I don't know how good is that gonna work because I ain't got the other attachments. This is the spray booth coming straight out the box. No upgraded fans or anything. Let me get the car in. We'll see how it's gonna work. Got the top done. It's about I said about a week, week and a half later. Finally getting back on it. Now, like I said, I'm gonna do the doors, I'm gonna do the body work with the doors off. Only body work really I'm gonna have to do on the car is this back section because I got new fenders and a new hood. Well I gotta do the front clip. It might be some dings and dents on. I haven't opened up the box yet, but we're going to concentrate on the car itself right now. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to start taking all these trim off, the lights, emblems, stuff like that, and all the trim off the doors and the weather stripping. I'm going to get these doors up on the stand, and then we'll get all the locks and stuff off, handles. Finishing up with the sanding. It's 
still got to do this front clip. I got to remove the bumper filler. I got a new one. Take the headlights out and the bezels. Spread the edge out of this here where the grill was at. And it looked like I seen a crack somewhere. Let me take it around to this side. Look like it's a crack there. It might just be the paint. But let me take out this part and sand this down, then we'll move to the next step. I know I had high hopes, but it's not looking good, y'all. I know I should have unboxed all these panels when I first got them. I got them when he uh, dropped the call. It was like three months ago. And I never did take them out the package. I knew I should have did it. I tried to give them the benefit of the doubt. Because I done got replacement panels. and had dings. Look, minor dings here and there. I can expect that. But... This here takes the cake. Let me walk around, show you everything. Y'all see this here, like it's been dropped. So that's gonna have to be knocked down. And also, you can see a ding there. It's gonna have to be filled. I think that's it on this one here. But check out this one here. That's gonna have to be knocked in. Some push-ups right here. Got to be knocked down and feel. Same way with that fender over there. Look like it was dropped. It's going to have to be knocked down. But this ain't the worst of it. Wait till y'all see the hood. You see? That corner pushed down. This corner here good. This corner here push down. Wait till y'all see the, the spot that really takes the cake. This here push down. But check this out here. This just messed up my day. <laughs> what y'all think about that? I'm not gonna bother by calling the owner. I know it's been three months, but this is ridiculous here. Yeah. I should have by the work the panels that was on there. I know the owner, he was trying to look out for me, you know, make my job easier by buying new panels. But this is what you get when you're getting replacement panels. And I don't know if it happened through the shipping department or the shipping carrier. I don't know, but we just gonna have to deal with it. Now, I can't do these panels, like the body work, off the car. I'm gonna have to do it on the car because I wanna make sure everything lined up. Cause this here, it's gonna have to be knocked down and pulled. Same way with this. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and do up under the hood, paint up under the hood and paint the jams on the fender. That way I can go ahead and install everything back on, then I do the body work on the car. That's just going to set me back. But it's all part of painting. Something I always went wrong. I guess I'll I cut y'all back on.
once I paint up under the uh, hood and the fenders and install everything back on, we'll start from there. We'll pick up from there. It's been a change of plans. I decided to do the body work with all the panels off the car. Test my skills. I done started beating the panels back in place. We're beating the uh, dents back in place. I still got to pull some of this out. But I somewhat got it shaped up where it need to be, like right here. I gotta pull this up. But I'm not gonna show y'all me doing this body work. It's the same as all the other body work I done did on the car. I might just give you some clips here now. And once I get done, we'll go from there. Give you a little update on the box Chevy. Um, getting everything back together. The fenders just took a while to line up because the aftermarket, you never know what you're gonna get with aftermarket. I got these hood hinges here. They some billet by Ring Brothers. Nice little piece of jewelry. <laughs> Compared to these here. I just wanted to put y'all back on to show y'all this here. Show them for the cost. The price was six eighty. dollars Rock couldn't believe that. Now I couldn't believe that. That's pretty high. Woo woo. <laughs> I mean like woo woo. You gotta pay to play. I know that's the reason. Two days later, I finally got the hood on and somewhat lined up. Got it lined up the best I could. It's not perfect which is not gonna be perfect, like I said before. The whole front end is aftermarket. Even the hinges. And speaking of the hinges, I had problems with those as well. This hinge here, the pump, it don't screw into this here. They tapped the hole too small, so I had to call them. They're gonna send me another one of these out. So I can't put the pump on on this side. That's why I got this bat holding it up. And I put the front clip on, trying to make sure it lined up, because that's the last piece to go on. But you can see right here, I had to build this out because it was a big gap on both sides right here. Now I'm gonna go back and prime it. Same way with this side. I'm gonna go back and prime it, spray some more guide coat on it, then I put it on, clean it up a little bit because it's been sitting outside, tree sap done fill all on it. Then I get y'all a final look at it. Okay, here we go. I just sprayed it off. We can tell it's getting fall, the leaves falling now. I know the back wheels are on backwards, so don't get in the comment section saying the wheels are on backwards because you can see I just got them on here. Still got to change them around. I'm going to take them off when I get ready to paint it, so ain't no big deal. And the clips, I just got them sitting up. They ain't tight, so you might see a gap here and there. But this is what the body work turned out to look like. It's kind of hard to tell since this guy coat on here. Pretty much ready to paint now. But I'm thinking about painting the clips separate. I got to paint the mirrors. Also, what else I got to paint? I got to paint the, uh, the front bumper filler. I got it in here. I still got to sand it. I did the rear bumper filler when I did the jams, the door jams. There's the top. Y'all get in the comment section. Let me know how I did. As far as the body work. 
and land in these aftermarket fenders with his front end up. <laughs> it was a task. I still got to pull that up. But right here, what I was talking about, I had to build that out because it was straight across. It was a big gap on both sides. But once I put all the nuts in, it'll pull it up close. So y'all stay tuned. Plenty more videos to come. All right, now on this video here, we're gonna be painting the doors, the jams of the doors, which I already did the jams on the car itself, but I gotta do the doors. The, uh, up under the deck lid, pretty much everything, like the hood up under the hood and the fenders. I just finished up this video, priming, doing the body work. If y'all wanna see that video, check out the description, it should be popping up as well. And I thought about just go ahead and paint it now before I pull the car out. So I'm finna take this deck lid off. Then I'll be able to paint this like I want to. Then I'll paint the deck lid and the doors, all that on a separate. It's gonna be the same video, but it's gonna be a different clip. So y'all hold on right quick and I'll take this deck lid off. Okay, deck lid removed. Now we can start sanding this here. You can either scuff it with a maroon scotch bright or 400 grit I'm gonna use 400 grit I'm a wet sand man it's because I'm a wet sand this area here I was thinking about it I can go ahead and paint this once I paint the jam of it so that'll be out the way I got some soapy water and a soft block I'm gonna use this soft block up here because it's kind of it's a contour but the top it's gonna cover up most of probably to here gonna be covered up so I'm gonna drop my sandpaper in my water let it soak and I'm gonna take you outside with a deck lid that we're not gonna wet sand the deck lid we're just gonna use the maroon sky sprite so let's go out there and I'll show you Back on the 87 LS Bro Hand Box Chevy, Brown, whatever you want to call it. If y'all can recall my last video, I had finished up with the body work. I was trying to line this front end up because it's all aftermarket. Got that taken care of. And I decided to paint my front clip, the rear clip, and the front bumper fillers. Paint those separate. I'm not worried about the paint not matching because I done painted 
a lot of stuff separate and all the paint is matching because it's a dark color so pretty much dark colors easy to match up if you paint it in a at different times and this a uh, base coat clear coat pearl so everything going good but you can see a lot of tree sap done landed on this here it's been sitting out but well here go the i can take the front bumper pull it out I haven't taken out the wrapper yet, but I'll take it out the wrapper for you. And I'll get the rear clip off and the front clip off and we'll get started. Three coats of clear. One step closer. Paint the car. Only thing left is paint the car now. Back on the 87 box Chevy. What we're gonna do now, about to start wet sanding the primer. Get it ready for paint. I already got the guide coat on it. I did that on my previous video when I was doing the body work. I also finally got this hinge. All the pieces that I needed for the hinge. You can see it's been sitting. Got leaves and tree sap done fell on it, so before we start sanding, what we're going to have to do is get all this, the leaves off because if we start sanding and got all this grit and grind everywhere, we're going to sand that into the paint. It's going to scratch it up. So we need to clean this off. And once we clean it off, I'll cut you back on. got it washed down I had to go back and touch up a few spots like right here the wheel it was hitting the fender here and it kind of creased it so I had to fix that look like you gonna have to get some smaller tires because these tires are kind of big and it's kind of scrubbing when you turn the wheel I let them know on that but if you ain't wet sanding or sanding in the covered area, like I'm doing it outside, and I already leased and started back falling on it. You wanna make sure you keep the surface clean, especially the flat areas here. Because if you don't, trust me, see a leaf just fell right there. If you don't, when you start sanding, you're gonna dig into it, it's gonna be some grit on it, and it's gonna put a deep scratch in it, and you're gonna see it once you start spraying your base coat. So you wanna keep those areas clean. Let me show you what sandpaper we're gonna be using. I got it over here.
completed with all the wet sanding. Now, well, I don't wash it off. Now I pull it on the inside. We'll start masking. If you see some bare metal on some areas, you don't have to go back and shoot no, mix up no prime or shoot no prime over those bare metal spots. If small areas like this here, you can spray some epoxy prime on it out the can. That'll work on those areas. Plus, I'm putting a seal on it, so that'll help as well. So the next video will be painting this thing. So y'all stay tuned. Oh, let me show you another trick. Let me get this water hose. You can spray some water on an area. It's like a substitute for clear. See this area here? I'm gonna put this water on it. It's gonna show me if this area is flat or not. Once it level off, it's gonna take a second or two to level off. Yeah, stay tuned. It's paint time. From the paint the 87 box Chevy Caprice. Yeah, I think I'm gonna be able to get a decent paint job and something look like this here. Yeah, spray would have been working. I've been doing a little of everything. Y'all can see I got tools all over the place. Just stuff everywhere. What y'all think? Can I pull it off? Well, we're going to find out in a matter of time. Let me take you outside. Show you the car I just finished wet sanding it. Now I gotta clean it up, then I clean the shop up something wet so we can bring it in. Here's the 87 box shiv. Just finished up on the wet sanding. Y'all can see all kind of stuff can fed back on it while I was wet sanding. Got a few spots I gotta hit that I hit with some one part glazer putty. The minor imperfections. Once I hit those, we'll be ready to wash it up. Clean the shop out. Then start getting ready to paint this thing. Inside. Now I take my wheels off. See, I got everything I need to take them off. The reason why I'm taking them off because if I leave them on, it's really two reasons. If I leave them on, it's hard to get paint coverage up in here, which you know I can't get no coverage here. And plus, I ain't got to worry about getting no overspray on them. So let me do that, then I'll put you back on.
finally finished up with all the masking. Let me take you around the car, show you what I got. So I got this mask off back here. Bumper. The exhaust. Rotors. I got a Walmart plastic bag over the rotors. Where the drums. Here's the engine bay. Only thing left is shutting the hood, taping this down. The top. Now I set up all my guns, the guns I'll be using on this here. I'm gonna put a sill on it, so I'm gonna use uh, a gun for the sill, then I'm gonna put the base, I'm gonna use the gun for the base. I'm gonna use the same gun for the pearl, then I'm gonna use another gun for the clear. So that's three guns I gotta set up. Go ahead and shut this down. Make sure the paper tucked in good.
three coats of the Scylla. Now I got a one uniform color. It's also a good foundation to start off with. It's a bug landing in it right here. It's another one here. I can remove that with a dry tech cloth. Let me show you. I'll take it off with this. Then I move to my base coat. It's going to be the Merlot Pearl base coat by Eurocan. Here we go. 
three coats of base. I could have got by with two, but I went on to put three. Like it was a little trash there. Probably was a bug. I've seen a bug up here. Right here. Now we'll mix up this clear and get the clear on.
check this good drink out. It's been about 20 minutes. I sprayed the last coat. 15, 20 minutes. I just cut the fans off to really do this video here with this clip. I got trash here now, but you gotta expect that spraying out here. But I couldn't buff every car I do, so that ain't no big deal, like I always say. It's the Sparkling Merlot Pearl by Uricam. So I'll think about it. If y'all can remember this hood and these two fenders, they was aftermarket. They was brand new, but they was damaged. Y'all can go check that bodywork video out and see how it looked and how it came out. I think it came out pretty good from what I started with. I'm gonna let it sit out maybe a day or two. I'll probably hit the in the fender wheel with some satin black or something. Clean them on up. See a bug already done landed in it. Back on the 87 box Chevy LS Brown. About to start cutting and buffing. Final stages. Once I cut and buff, I just gotta put everything back together. I've been letting it sit up. I thought I had everything painted. All the miscellaneous pieces like the front clip, the bumper fillers, the rear. But come to find out, I start looking on the inside and the mirrors. I never painted the mirrors which I thought I painted the mirrors, but I think it was that OBS I did what had me thinking. But forget that, we're gonna start cutting and buffing. I paint the mirrors, uh, I guess after I pull it out, cut and buff, it ain't gonna take long to do that. And today, how we gonna cut and buff, we gonna, we gonna somewhat get that show car finish for us getting it flat. So when you wanna get a show car finish, you wanna use a block, start off with a block. And I'm going to start off with 1500. We got some 1500 here. Wet sand. But if you're not looking for no show car finish, you want to do it fast. You know, all cars got orange peel. You can just get you a interface pad on the DA and just knock down the imperfections and you'll be good. But we're going to get a show car finish for us getting it flat and knocking it down, knocking down all the orange peel. And it's all kind of ways you can do it for us to grit sandpaper. See, we're going to start with 1500. You can start out with something lower than that, but it's going to take longer for us trying to buff the shine back. So I like to start off with 1500. 
then work my way up to 2000 then 3000 because if you start off with something like a thousand it's just gonna make your buffing a lot longer the process so we're gonna get some water find my bucket my famous bucket get some water in it then we'll get started probably right here where all these imperfections at on the hood then we got water spots from where it was sitting outside but let me get my bucket then we'll get started Finished up with the wipe down. Let me show you what we got. You can see the shine somewhat coming back where it came back when I hit it with the 3000. Now it's time to start buffing. I'm going to take you outside and show you what I'm going to be using for us the buffing material and what uh, tools I'll be using. Let's go ahead and check it out. You might still see some residue here and there from the polish, but I just want to cut it back on and show you what it looked like. One step closer. We're getting it done. I still got to paint these mirrors. I think I got one right here. I almost forgot about painting them. This is what she look like, y'all. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Just finished up on the cutting buff for us the box Chevy 87. If y'all want to check that out, check the description out. It'll also be popping up. But I gotta paint these mirrors. I almost forgot about them. 
I thought I painted them when I did the front and rear clip, but I didn't. So we're gonna paint those also. Install the headlight bells and the headlights in and the grill, emblems, stuff like that, and attach the front clip and the rear clip. Same way with the back, I gotta do. But first we're gonna pull the car out and then we'll uh, start prepping up for us getting some paint on old mirrors. Finishing touch, touches. go it's three coats it's been almost an hour since I sprayed the last coat I use fast hardening because we got some snow outside and pretty cold but we're gonna let it sit sit in the shop overnight then we'll move it out bring the front clips in with well, the front clip and the rear clip get everything back together Install the mirrors and the front clip and the rear clip. All right, here's the board for the Panac G6. I'm not going to use the whole entire board. I'm just, only thing I really need, I need this for the actual switches and the opening here. And I'm gonna keep the dome light, so I'm gonna use this here. So I pretty much got to cut out this area here, probably around now. Up here, I'll probably keep this go like that down. So let me cut that out. I'm gonna use my probably jigsaw. It ain't gotta be no perfect cut. So let me cut that out. We'll move to the next step. Switch, cut it off. Also, the interior lights, I got those hooked up as well. But the ignition gotta be on. I got the ignition on. It's the panoramic controls. Y'all tell me what y'all think about it.
All right, now we got the rear clip, the front clip. We got the bumper filler, the front and rear bumper fillers over here. Tail lights, the tag, bezel. These the headlight bezels. The old headlight bezels, we ain't gonna need them no more. Headlights, grill, side, <coughs> the side markers, the rear and front. Also, the emblem will be putting that on. And I think that's about it. Pause the clips. I think this is gonna wrap it up for us putting everything on. I still got some pinstripe and molding on the side, also the bumper molding put on. But that's gonna be on another video, so y'all stay tuned for that. Let me walk you around the car, show you what everything looked like all together. Y'all tell me what y'all think in the comment section. Let me know how it's coming. Still got to be cleaned up once I get everything on for us to pinstripes and the molding. Won't be long though. They're like 90% there. Here's another video. I just finished installing everything back on the box. Now, the only thing I got left is putting the pinstripe on. I'm gonna put a pinstripe along the sides, also the side molding. And the front and back bumper also getting new molding because this one here is broke off and cracked up. So we're gonna do that in this video over here. So let me get the molding together and the pinstripes and I'll show you what color I'm going with. It's gonna match the top. Here we go. This will start off with the motor, the side motor. And I just gotta cut it to size. And just a pinch straight. And here's the bumper motor. Just the front. How you can tell the front got that little offset there. Back straight. I guess we'll start putting the back bumper molding on, taking this old one off. It got on the back, it got uh, let me see how many cuts on it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's eight nuts along the back of the bumper so i'm gonna have to get up under it and remove those to get the old one off but the front it ain't got nothing but uh look like it's four four on the front two on each side
from this to this here. Now let me take you to the back. I also been doing a little touch up on the buffing before I put the pinstripes and the molding down. I was gonna do that video where I put the pinstripes and the molding down with this video, but this video been long enough, so we gonna cut this one off and do that in a later video. But here goes the back. All right, y'all, stay tuned for the pinstripe and molding. Just finished installing the bumper impact strips, the front and back. Now I'm about to put a pinstripe on it along the side. Then I'm gonna put the side molding as well. Here's the front impact strip. Let me show you the pinstripes. If y'all want to check that video out, it'll be down in the description in the playlist. But this the these are the pinstripes. That's the side molding. Guess we'll probably do the pinstripes first. Yeah, I think that'll be a good idea. Let me get these open up, then we'll get started. It's not a game, it's a Up. I had a little bit left over. Let's go ahead and check it out. Pinstripe and molding. Y'all tell me what y'all think about it. How she turning out. I'm pretty much done now. Just gotta clean it up. Call the owner. Set up a time when he gonna come pick it up. Move on to the next project. Y'all tell me what y'all think. Stay tuned for the next video. Try to get a shot of it out in the sun. Hopefully we get some sun in the next couple of days.
Vamos. We never stop. Right from the bottom to the top, from the